This is Jane reading The Golden Calf. I was dying, Egypt. Dying. I'd counted on him, this new magician, whose rod pushed back the Egyptian sea. Can you imagine those walls of water we ran between, wondering would they split like bricks baked too long in the sun with too little straw? A seafall of eel and squid and crab, eyeless fish and slithering weed. I followed him, this Moshe. Behind us you could hear horses snorting and losing ground and the chariots splitting in the waves and the soldiers screaming for Horus and Pharaoh and Ra, cursing us as the sea swallowed their eyes. Hator, when you hid your son in the papyrus swamps, could you have guessed what was to come? Pharaoh losing his only firstborn son, locusts taking the food from his daughter's mouth. Lady of Turquoise, Lady of Byblos, what kept you going just before dawn? How did you mind the sun, keep the women in milk, the babies quickening? You never ever said you had no words. And what on Sinai kept him, Eved Adonai? Surely he couldn't have broken his word to come down out of the clouds and leave the voice of fire, the voice within silence. So I didn't feel like a treasured possession, worth more than the golden rings and collars and lotus and vines and amulets, carnelian and silver snatched from the neighbors. And I wasn't the only one wondering where on earth we were. That was the worst. Those hours in the dark, the chain of days and nights when I jerked awake, eye to eye with a scorpion, and I wanted to get my hands on something as warm as cowskin, become something as warm as cowskin, even a god who saw red most of the time and made the river burst its banks or walled up babies. That was a simple explanation. It was a coward's way out. It came at once to the men who found change too hard to take, wanting things simple. I remember I wasn't surprised when Aaron was trying to explain this to his brother. Out he came with this spiel. Moshe, I'm so sorry. I had to keep them going, find something they could do with too much time on their hands. So, Moshe, I tried to mix a cake out of flour and water and a few berries scattered by a stranger to give a bit of a change from the manner. Not that we're not all grateful. But Elias spills water everywhere and Miri makes model pyramids and the berries get eaten and Noah says it must have been a bird. It simply wasn't enough. How could I stop the endless fetch over beads and seeds? Sheol, they kept saying, this is Sheol and saw no way out, until they thought of this calf thinking of them. They threw rings and earrings and collars into the fire. This was the work of their hands, beaten and hammered out. They called it the small bull of heaven. The sun and the moon and the river that fed the land, gold the flesh of this hard god, fall out of fire fallout of Egypt. I was dying, Moshe, dying. But I kept my earrings to myself. Only the men wanted to build a solid god with horns like daggers. That was their poison. But I couldn't sit out the dancing, not to timbrels and flutes. And I rubbed my skin with Stacta, Onicha and Galbanum with myrrh and cinnamon and cassia and the oil of olives. I leapt the bull, touched his back with my hands. I am the dance of Hator. I am the whisper of the sistrum. I am the lady of Byblos, the mouth of the sea, the flight of the dolphin lit by the sun. That was my temptation. I 
I thought we could bring him to life. But now there is Moshe, and under my palms this gilt skin is cold, the eyes are glass, there is no tongue. Egypt's dying, Moshe, dying. I am mourning, Moshe. This is a time for grief. I see this in you and in the crash of the stones. We are the broken pieces, the words lost in the sand. After such mourning, what forgiveness? Where is Ruach Elohim? Where is the chant of Miriam? I am drinking the bitter water, the water of grief and delusion, the water of loss and shame. The gold is foul on my tongue. My mouth is coated with ashes and dust. I am barren. My brothers are killing my brothers who slid their necks in a halter of fear and could not lift their eyes to the hills. They have choked on gold. I am blood and tears and green Nile silt. I am wanting, Moshe, wanting to fill my hands with your God. When he came down again with the tablets, he greeted his brother, Shema Aharon, this is the mystery of Adonai, giver of manna and leaven, a God who is not bullish, nor made in the image of Pharaoh. Remember the midwives who saved the sons of Reuven and Binjamin and Naphtali and Dan and Issachar and Gad and Asher and Zebulun and Simeon and Judah and the daughter of Pharaoh who raised me out of the reeds. And Aaron named Zipporah and Miriam even and Moshe is chanting this Adonai, 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 El Rachum Vechanum, Erech Apayim Verav Hesek Ve'emet, not se chesed la alafim, no se avon va fesha ve'hatara. And Aaron repeats after him word for word, and running his fingers over the words cast in stone, as if he wanted to eat them. And I am his cry, but the words sing in my mind, an endless chanting that takes all my time from new moon to new moon. The words of this God of Miriam and of Zipporah make time matter. And Moshe's face shines as the moon on the sea. And touching the sand where the tablets of Adonai were broken and scattered, Aaron says to all of us together, Adonai, Adonai, Vinake lo yanake poket avon avot al banim ve al bene vanim al shileshim ve al rebeim. Shema Yisrael Adonai Elohenu Adonai Echad. It will take years to pick up these pieces. <laughs>